What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering. I don't know if it's superhero fatigue, if it's the time of the year with Thanksgiving and Christmas coming up, or if the show is just bad, but Hawkeye is off to a disastrous start, having far, far lower viewership than you would see um, that you saw in Loki or that you would have saw in, saw in WandaVision. Essentially, we've seen like this downward trend of the Marvel shows. Now, we can agree that Hawkeye probably isn't like, you know, Hawkeye's no Iron Man or Incredible Hulk, but Hawkeye's no slouch either. He's very popular. Um, the actor that plays him is is well-liked, Jeremy Renner. Uh, and the character itself, I think, warrants some deeper, kind of deeper um, uh, exploration. Maybe it's the whole, this is... Hawkeye's last dance and they're just passing it off to a strong independent women who don't need no man and people are just out right away. It's possible, uh, but it's been difficult to kind of track exactly why the show has been underperforming so bad. I mean, when you look at the reviews, obviously I couldn't care less about critic reviews, but 93, it is what it is. Audience score is 84. I mean, audience score is pretty fine um you know when you look at it overall if you look at top critics 60 percent. so i mean if you look at the overall reviews that may kind of lead to some information you see like steinfeld deserves better introduction than this piece of tinsel which is in its first two episodes never transcends the rating of fine the show has so little faith in our interest in clint barton as a character that it buries his best moments under a sea of kate bishop screen time and backstory Yes, exactly. Um, hoping the shiny new hero will appease audiences more than Renner's veteran. That is spot on. That's exactly how I felt. Um, I understand passing the torch. I understand the need to do so. I understand why they're doing it. But I I would have liked to see some sweet Hawkeye moments, um, you know, before you already ran to quick establish like, hey, you know, Kate Bishop, guys, that's the new that's the new star. Now, look, there's nothing wrong with Kate Bishop. She um, seems at times even powered down compared to original comic book. I think she's kind of you know you can you can make the argument of her being a Mary Sue. We've only got two episodes though, um, you know, and we've already seen Hawkeye have to bail her out. So I mean, there's that, but you know, even the good reviews aren't very good. What's the best way to handle a humorless Avenger? Put him in as many scenes as possible where he's made to feel uncomfortable and watch the comedy flow. I mean, yeah, I guess. You know, the series lacks the zip and polish that Kate Bishop and Clint Barton deserve. It seems lazy. Again, these are there are very few negative reviews. Most of them are pretty positive. You have to dig pretty, pretty deep, you know. Our already says. The worst MCU show so far. The acting is terrible, low stakes. Some of the jokes didn't land. There's also the fact that Clint is the same old Clint. Kate Bishop is annoying and nothing like the comics. They sure butchered her character. As for the fact that Haley Steinfeld can't act, both episodes felt, for the most part, boring and uninteresting. To this day, Loki still remains the best MCU Disney Plus show. That's perhaps true. I don't think uh, you can say Haley can't act. I don't think that that's fair. I certainly don't think... Um, Jeremy Renner can't act if you if you don't believe me watch uh, Wind River I think it's excellent film um, it's also only been two episodes but I think most people's complaints are essentially that yes you that you rushed to replace Hawkeye essentially you see Greg G I thought this was about Hawkeye um, another mediocre Marvel series that feels like they tried giving Hawkeye his own show just to forget to make him the protagonist and give him any character development and relegate him to be the old wolf to the new fresh Kate. Passes the time, but I feel like I would enjoy this series more if the whole season was released at once because they are not good enough to encourage talking or thinking too much because they are so shallow you forget what happened after a week. Yeah. I mean, I don't think it was bad. It just was extremely meh. You know, extremely meh. And the numbers are very meh. Marvel woke Hawkeye huge fail on Disney+. Plus. Now, of course, Cosmic Book News likes to dunk on this stuff, but it's also been reported on Deadline in the same way. 
More bad news for Disney Plus and Marvel as it learned that Hawkeye series is a huge fail and presently performing as the worst of the live action MCU shows on the streaming service. Now, being like the worst of those shows, which are all pretty huge, isn't necessarily terrible on Jump Street, but it's way off, like 40% lower than Loki. Hawkeye, which stars Haley Steinfeld, as well as Kate Bishop, who replaces Jeremy Renner's character in the MCU, basically a guest star on his own show, I agree, was watched by a whopping 40% less than Loki. And Loki, I would argue, maybe I'm wrong, what do you think, for the normie culture, and I would kind of consider myself normie culture for Marvel, like Hawkeye's more well-known than Loki, don't you think? I mean, maybe they're about equal, but I feel like Hawkeye should have done better than Loki. Although Loki had, you know, big name actor in it and, you know, it felt like more press. The info comes via Samba TV via Deadline, which measures streaming service viewership, where the first episode numbers for Hawkeye trails the five day U.S. household viewership of Loki by 40 percent. Loki was watched by 2.5 million homes, while Hawkeye was only watched by 1.5 million. Now, again, it was released over holiday, which I think, you know, can offer up some wonkiness, but that generally means better news. Like people are at home watching TV or they're off work. Loki was watched by 2.5 million. Again, Hawkeye only 1.5. The number is also less than Falcon and the Winter Soldier, 1.8 million, and WandaVision, 1.6 million. Not much, only 100,000. But it is the worst so far. Meaning... You know, and, and if you look at the order, really, it was WandaVision, then Falcon and the Winter Soldier. So it got a little more hype for that. And then Loki, which did awesome. And then Hawkeye. Maybe Hawkeye's just not the draw that I thought it would be. Maybe, you know, I just like Jeremy Renner and I thought, you know, I had higher hopes for it. But maybe it's just not the normie draw. Was also alarming for Hawkeye is the second episode saw a drop of 200,000 viewers as only 1.3 million stuck around to watch episode two. But both of the first and second episodes were released at the same time on Disney Plus. So that means 200,000 Marvel fans didn't like the first episode, decided it wasn't good enough to watch the second, or they haven't watched it yet. You know, let's be fair. Uh, this article writes, I did watch the first couple episodes and didn't think too highly of them. There's only two. Um, so I'm not sure what you're talking about. Um, I just can't see Kate Bishop as a replacement for Clint Barton, who has been basically trained to be what he is, while Bishop received little to no training, IMO. Sure, the beginning montage shows Kate getting trained by who, and we're told she was, and then quite laughably, we were shown her climbing buildings and fencing, and then beating up bad guys, but it didn't come off as organic, didn't sell me at all on Kate Bishop. This is kind of my problem, and maybe you can, maybe, hey, maybe I'm just a misogynist here, but, you know... This is my problem with dainty little female superheroes. And you could argue even Black Widow to a certain degree. Like, you see these like 90 pound women punch a guy across the screen. It's laughable. You could so easily deal with that. Like, oh, they have a power suit on or they or they like no amount of training is going to is going to let Kate, you know, that Kate Bishop punch me across a, uh, a bar. Um, so you just like the Queen Latifah show, the equalizer. Oh my God. You have like a 50 year old Queen Latifah karate chopping people and them flying 20 feet. Now I get that there are scrawny men that do it too. And it's, it's just harder to, it, it's just harder to, um, what's the word for it? Suspend belief when like Kate Bishop's supposed to be beating people up. It was like when you watched, um, that movie, uh, kick with hit girl, remember hit girl, She's like kicking people and she's like a nothing, like a little two foot nothing. Um, that was weird too, but that movie was kind of goofy and over the top. So it didn't really hurt it that much. By the way, the second movie in that series was terrible. Um, you know, I don't know. I don't know that it's necessarily, this says fans are not happy with Marvel's woke approach. Captain America, Steve Rogers replaced with POC Falcon with no powers, while obviously choice, obvious choice Bucky would have made more sense. Maybe. Iron Man killed off. Disney doesn't want to pay Robert Dooney Jr. the money, hence no Iron Man 4. Replaced by a POC teen Ironheart who steals Iron Man's tech. For some reason, is allowed to keep it. 
Black Widow also ended and replaced as her characters made fun of in her own movie. Hulk became goofy, smart Hulk, unable to transform into Hulk, into She-Hulk, essentially replaced by a female character. Thor became fat, goofy Thor. Now it's female Thor, Natalie Portman. Well, it's not really female Thor. It's, um, you know, Jane Foster. Um, you know, it's fair. It's fair to say that there's clearly a, you know, a line in the sand with these these Disney design decisions. But what the good news is, look, if, if Hawkeye was great, you know, the viewership, I believe, would be there. I believe Marvel fans will still come out and show up for a good movie. I think Spider-Man is the last chance at a billion-dollar movie for, for this movie industry, maybe ever. Um, and I believe it's got a very good chance of getting there. It's pulling out all the stops. Um, but Marvel fans aren't going to show up for mediocre Uh or even the perception of mediocre. There was nothing inherently wrong with Shang Chi, but people thought the movie was only going to, you know, going to be an average kind of run-of-the-mill action film, and no one went to see it. Um, same with Black Widow, although it did do good with Disney premium buys. Um, you're going to see, I mean, the Eternals, what a disaster! Uh, you're going to see that with Phase Four at Marvel. They're going to have a really hard time without these original actors, and the, couple that with the fact that. They're also trying to get extraordinarily woke. That's a double a double hill to overcome that I just don't think Marvel's capable of. Because at the end of the day, Marvel movies are not deep. They are not um, you know, something people think about constantly. They're just seat fillers, action popcorn films. And if you make them unfun, then people are going to stop showing up. Hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.